Hi, hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about the daily aptitude day 29 solution. So today's aptitude questions I have taken from the concept of probability. So in this topic, I have taken three aptitude questions. We are going to solve those questions in this video. If you are new to this channel and have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel for more videos. So let's get into today's topic. So the first question is, out of 17 applicants, there are 8 boys and 9 girls, 2 persons are to be selected for the job, find the probability that at least one of the selected persons will be a girl. So what they are saying is, in an interview there are 17 applicants, in that 8 boys and 9 girls are there, we have to select 2 applicants such that uh, they have given a condition that at least one of them should be a girl. So with this occurrence, we have 3 events. So they are going to select two applicants with the condition of at least one girl. So minimum one girl should be there. Maximum any number of girls can be there. So they are saying like that. So it, there are three events occurring with respect to this condition. What are the condition means? The first one is a boy and the second one is a girl. This is, this is the first condition. And the next condition is first one selected is a girl and the second one selected is a boy. And the third condition is First one selected is also a girl and second one selected is also a girl because with respect to at least meaning means minimum to maximum. So minimum it should be one, maximum it should be the specified count what they are saying. They are going to select two applicants so maximum two. So with this we are going to form the equation. So first one is a boy they are going to select. So out of 17 applicants they are going to select from this eight boys one boy. So eight divided by 17. Similar way for one girl you what you will do. 9 divided by y here 16 comes means we have already selected one boy so from the total count we have to reduce one member no so after reducing from the total count of 17 you will get the count as 16 because already one boy selected so the remaining members will be 16 so this is the first equation with respect to this equation and the next one is the one girl first one is the girl and the second one is the boy so girl means 9 divided by 17 into boy means 8 out of 8 boys divided by total number of applicants will be 16 because 1 we have already chosen. So in a similar way for the girls also. So 9 divided by 17 into already we have selected one girl and then again we are going to select another girl means 8 divided by 16. If you solve this equation means you will get the answer as 27 by 34. So this is the probability for this question. So the next question is in a simultaneous throw of pair of dice find the probability of getting the total more than 7. So what they are saying is they are throwing a pair of dice in that the total value should be more than 7. So if you are throwing a pair of dice means the number of sample spaces what you will get is 6 into 6 is equal to 36. So for 2 dice means the number of sample space will be 36. What we are going to find the probability the number of events should be total more than 7. So we have to find the number of events occurring with respect to this condition. So we, have, we can write the conditions as 2 comma 6 because first dice 2 count will come and the second dice 6 count means if you add those 2 means it will be more than 7 no 8. 2 plus 6 means you will get the answer as 8 which is more than 7. So in a similar way we have to find the number of events occurring when we are throwing uh, 2 pairs of dice and the total should be more than 7. If you write all the possible conditions means the total number of events occurring with respect to this condition will be 15. So 15 divided by the total sample space is 36. If you divide it to the simplified form means you will get the answer as 5 by 12. So the last question is a word consists of 9 letters, 5 consonants and 4 vowels, 3 letters are chosen at random. What is the probability that more than one vowel will be selected? So what they are saying is a word consists of 9 letters. Out of those 9 letters, 5 are consonants and 4 are vowels. What is the probability when three letters are selected out of the three letters more than uh, one vowel will be selected they are asking this is the condition what they have given. So first we can find the sample space of this particular condition what they have mentioned. They are going to select three letters from nine letters okay. So n of s is equal to total number of letters nine c three out of this nine letters they are going to select three letters so we are going to write it as nine c three. So with respect to the given condition what they are saying more than one vowel means what are the condition may be so two vowels and one consonant or it can be three vowels okay so more than means the condition is minimum to maximum what previous question we have seen at least to know so the same condition applies here so two vowels and one consonant plus three vowels you will get 
So if you want to write this in equation form, it's 4C2. So because out of 4 vowels, we are going to select 2 vowels. And out of 5 consonants, we are going to select 1 consonant. Plus, out of 4 vowels, we are going to select 3 vowels. So this is the number of events occurring with respect to the given condition divided by the total sample space. If you solve this equation, means you will get the answer as 17 divided by 42. If you don't know how to solve this permutation and combination uh, equations, means in our channel is, itself, I have posted a video called permutation and combination. In those, I have explained about this concept detailedly. So I will attach that link in description. You can refer to that playlist also. So I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. And if you are new to this channel and have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel for more videos. So see you in the next video. Until then, stay tuned. Signing off from you. Bye. Take care.